Good morning children. Hope all is good with you. Today we will be reading a beautiful lesson called Go and Come. It will teach us that instead of ordering or shouting at someone to do something, we need to be calm and polite and ask or request them nicely. This will get the work done happily. So let's read this lesson together. Read along with me children. Once there was a little boy who lived in a pretty little cottage. There was a lovely garden around the cottage. Different kinds of plants grew in the garden. And so there was a lot of work to do there. The plants had to be watered every day. They had to be given manure from time to time. They had to be cut and pruned at the right time. The garden needed weeding and cleaning. Everybody in the little boy's family helped to take care of the garden. The meaning of the word cottage is a small simple house usually seen in villages just like the house in the picture. Manure is a material mixed with soil to help plants grow. It is like the food for plants. Pruned means to remove dead and unwanted parts of the plant. And weeding means removing unwanted plants. So children, this is a story of a little boy who lived in a pretty little small house which we call cottage. And can you see? Around the house, there is lot of green trees and plants. And he has a lovely garden. But children, to take care of this garden, they had to do a lot of work. If you don't take care of plants, they will not live. The plants will die off. So what all do plants require children? Yes, they require good sunlight. They require lot of water. So the boy and his family had to water these plants every day. And just like we require food, plants also require food. This food that we add to the soil or the mud we call as manure. So children, the boy and his family along with water also gave the plants manure. And when the plants used to grow very big, they had to be cut. And if there was some part of the plant which was dying out or spoiled, they had to cut them off. We call this as pruning. This will help the plant grow much better. The garden also had to be cleaned every day. And all those plants that were dying out or unwanted had to be removed off. So you see children, the boy's family had lot of work to do so they could keep their garden 
beautiful as ever. Now let's see what happens next. The boy had a very strict uncle who came to stay with them for a few days. The uncle believed in hard work and discipline. One day he saw that the boy was playing around in the house. Little boy, said the uncle, you would be far better at work. Your garden needs weeding sadly. Go now and weed it like a good child. But the little boy did not feel like weeding that day. I can't do it, he said. Oh, yes, you can, said the uncle. Sadly means very badly needed. So, children, this boy had an uncle who was very strict. He was a hard working uncle and always wanted discipline in the boy. He didn't like if the boy was making mischief or not doing any work at home. One day he saw that the little boy was only playing in the house. And in the garden there were some plants which had died off. So they had to be removed off. So he told the boy... Instead of playing here, go to the garden and do weeding like a good boy. But children, because he was a strict uncle, he shouted and told the boy very badly. The boy didn't want to do any weeding. He wanted to play. So he said, I can't do weeding today. But the uncle got angry and said, You have to do the weeding in the garden today. Go out and do it. So children, the uncle shouted and ordered the boy to do the work in the garden. Now children, can you answer these questions? Who had come to stay with the little boy and his family? Yes, a very strict uncle had come to stay with the little boy and his family. What did the uncle believe in? The uncle believed in hard work and discipline. Now let's see. If the boy listened to the uncle and went and did the work. Well, I don't want to. Not just now, said the little boy. But you must, said his uncle. Don't be naughty. But go at once and do your work. This is an order. Get up and go. The uncle was himself a hard working man. He went away to carry on with his own work in an another room. But the little boy sat still. He felt that his uncle was being unfair. His chin began to wobble. He had a lump in his throat and his eyes welled up. Just then, his mother walked in. What's the matter, little boy? she asked. Why do you look so unhappy? Uncle told me to weed the garden said the little boy. 
the meaning of the word unfair is not right. Wobble means move from side to side. Just like when your tooth is about to break, first it starts shaking. So we say you have a wobbly tooth. So wobble means to move from side to side. Lump in his throat means when you are sad and you are controlling your tears. At that time, it's difficult to swallow. So we say there's a lump in your throat. Means something is stuck in your throat. Welled up means filled with water. Tears in your eyes. So children, did the boy listen to uncle? No, he told the uncle, I don't want to go to the garden and do any work right now. But the uncle shouted back at him and ordered him right now to get up, go to the garden and do the work as he had told him. Uncle was a very hard working man. So after shouting and ordering the little boy, he himself went to his room to do his own work. But the boy was very sad that uncle shouted at him and spoke to him rudely. His eyes were filled up with tears. He was about to cry. But he was controlling himself. So children, sometimes when mummy shouts at you and if someone is around, you don't want to show that you are going to cry. So you sit in one corner and you try to control your tears. The same way this boy was sitting in his room and controlling his tears but he was very sad. Just then his mother came in the room and she asked him what happened. Then the boy told mother that uncle told me to weed the garden. Now let's see what mummy tells him. Oh said his mother what fun that will be! I love to weed and it is such a fine day. Can I come and help you to weed? Why? Yes, said the boy. Come, let's do it now, said his mother. The boy got up readily and went outside with his mother. The two of them weeded the garden beautifully and had a very good time together, working and chatting and laughing. This lesson was adapted from Go and Come by Laura E. Richards. Chatting means talking. So children, when his mother came to know that the boy was upset because uncle told him to weed, instead of shouting at him or telling him, let it be, she handled him very nicely. She told him that she also enjoyed weeding and she would love to go along with him and weed the garden. So the child was so excited that mummy was going to come along with him in the garden and do work with him. Now he happily agreed. He got up and went to the garden with mummy to cut off the dead plants. 
and both of them did the garden weeding very beautifully. Along with doing their work, they had so much of fun together. They were talking to each other, laughing loudly and enjoying themselves. So children, what did you learn from this lesson? That when the boy was ordered and shouted at and told to do his work, he was sad and upset and did not do it. But when the same work was told to him by his mother in a different way and when she also agreed to help him out, then the boy did the work so happily. So always, instead of ordering someone, you should be kind and request that person to do the work. Isn't that a lovely lesson? Now let's see some questions from the lesson. First question. Was it wrong to tell the boy to weed the garden? No, it wasn't wrong to tell the boy to weed the garden. Second question. Was the boy naughty? No, the boy wasn't naughty. Third question. Did the boy's mother want him to work? Answer. No, the boy's mother didn't want him to work. Second question. Find and write the lines that tell us the following. So children, you have to search for lines from the story that tell you First one, how the boy's family took care of the garden. So these are the lines in the story that tell us how they took care of the garden. The plants had to be watered every day. They had to be given manure. The garden needed weeding and cleaning. They had to be cut and pruned at the right time. Everybody in the little boy's family helped to take care of the garden. The second one, the little boy was about to cry. So these are the lines from the story which tell us that the little boy was about to cry. His chin began to wobble up. He had a lump in his throat and his eyes welled up. And the last one, the boy and his mother worked happily and well. And these are the lines from the story. The two of them weeded up the garden beautifully and had a very good time together, working and chatting and laughing. Third question, write any two requests or orders. First using go. This will be an order. And then using come, let's. This would be a request. And which one will you use? You can write any two requests or orders that you can think of. As an example, I've shown you. First one, go. Clean your cupboard. And if I have to write it as a request, it will be Come, let's clean up your cupboard. And the second request, the order will be Go, do your homework. And the request will be Come, let's check your homework. So children, for the same work, it can be said as an order and as a request. Fourth question, give the opposites of. 
opposite of little which means small is big opposite of pretty which means beautiful is ugly opposite of different is same and opposite of few means many and the last question children you have to answer it on your own write three to five lines about any grown-up person you like also write how you spend time with that person so children you can write about any grown-up person in your family that you love to spend time with it could be daddy mummy grandparents uncle auntie any grown-up person write down their name and tell us who they are and also tell us why you like to spend time with that person and what do you do with that person answer in three to five lines that was all in this lesson children hope you enjoyed it have a nice day thank you